Hey everybody. So we are working on uh, cutting pothos out of dirt frog tanks. I have a couple that don't have occupants in them and the tanks are very overgrown. What a jungle, huh? I mean, there's so much more, but you know, the old stingray tank I had her in a 50 low boy for a bit, and then of course I do what I do and I forget the light on, and now that tank water is like Mountain Dew, which will be pretty awesome. For these plants, they will be very happy. A bunch of nutrient filled water. Look at this. Still like that. See how much more we can cut out of here, huh? I do have a bromeliad I want to bring down as well. And I know the stump on the side of the pond maybe will Attach it to that with some moss, or maybe in one of the other ones with a net pot. I don't know. We'll have to take a look. Part of me just wants to kind of do a hack and slash on these things, but I don't, know if I don't want to just tear through them either. Had this to tear apart too. Had a few things in here I forgot about as well. Is growing ever more. All right, bring this downstairs. Yeah, the school is begging you. So, um, full disclosure, I didn't get to them, and they sat out for almost two days before they have been put into the water here. So, wilty, shocky, my fault. But now, I must make my planties wet. I think I'll take this one here, which really, you know, doesn't, <laughs> doesn't have much on it, but, uh, some good roots. Uh, I'll tuck it behind here so it goes into the water. Then we can bring it up, wrap it, and maybe do that with a couple of them here. So we get a little color around here too. It'd be kind of nice. I want to add a few more into here. And this is floating, I like that. And we can run them up here. I have a, I don't remember what it's called, I'll have to ask Vanessa, but I have one at the store I'm going to bring home and put it here. And then we'll add more to this as well. We have little um, cichlids in here growing up some peaceful little South American guys. And then uh, eight or nine lemon bristlenose pleco. But, yeah, I'll add some plants to this too. Not that there isn't, you know, enough, right? But a little more color never hurts, right? So here's this mess. Already got a good chunk of those spread out. Let's keep going. That's a little better. Tuck back there. Come over there. Come back there. Come out here and here. I 
I'd rather put them in the pond than directly in the filters as much as I can help it. Because all this biomedia can kind of take all the nutrients that the plants want. So I just want to put them right in the pond where they'll get what they want. You guys want some duckweed? Improving. Okay, now that we've done this, I have another idea. Ready? Eliminate this whole thing. I mean, this is all four plants anyway. Yeah. Uh, drop the basket in the pond, get rid of this system. If somebody is interested in a 50 gallon low boy with a filter, let me know. Then we can run PVC, pump down, around, and in, and then we can tee the PVC off, and we can put the plants in it, kind of line the edge of the pond with it and just use the basket for the highest synth anyway. My thoughts. What do you think? Oh, that was cute. That guy gave me a little nibble. Oh, there you go, guys. Alright, I'm gonna wrap this up and maybe we will just go ahead and do that. Honestly, it'd be easier for me to climb around on here anyway. I almost fell in again last night. From the koi and I and the goldfish, can't forget them. I'd like to just thank everybody for spending your time with me.